If you're near the Varvakios Market in central Athens, just a short walk from the Manastraki train station, make sure you pay a visit to Krinos Bakery at 87 Aiolo Street. You won't regret it. We're at Marbakeos Market and we were looking for a grab-and-go breakfast and we really scored at this bakery here. It's a hundred-year-old bakery. It's called Grinos, which means lily in Greek. And they serve these little fresh baked donuts that have Greek honey and cinnamon on them. Imagine a beignet with a little crunch to it. It's like a little slice of heaven right here. Mm. They're called Lucumades. And this small street-side bakery has been serving them up to Athenians for nearly a hundred years. Oh, I would say so good, but that's not enough. It is amazing. So good. This is Renee. Her grandfather bought this building in 1923 when it housed Athens' first pharmacy. She talked to me about her family's history in the neighborhood and how Krinos got its name. It's a hundred year old business, the sweet shop, but it was originally um, a chemist. My grandfather came here as a tenant and uh, he thought it was a good idea to use the surname of the chemists as the name of the business, as it was a short surname with a pleasant meaning, water lily, lily and after some years, he bought the building himself. They don't just make the best Lucumatis in town at Krinos. They also bake fantastic pastries and delicious spinach pies at prices that'll make any budget traveler happy. Now surely a man who founded a bakery this good must have been a baker himself. Or was he? It's a mystery. But we know that he interviewed the chefs. The chefs had to have a specially thick thumb to be able to make the hole in the donut. And my grandfather taught everybody who makes donuts with a hole has been trained by somebody from here. So that was the interview process, show me yeah, your thumb. Yes, show me your thumb, exactly. You, you won't do as a chef, you know, do something else. Be a waiter, be something else, but not the chef. <laughs> I love that. That's great. In between the daily foodie tours, Renee sees generations of Athenians coming to recapture a bit of their childhood. And these Lucumades are as good as they remember. Yeah, people come here, uh, lots of uh, Greek, Greek people who live abroad. They want to sample something from their home. And this is one thing they do, they would come here on holiday. They say, we've got to have uh, Lucumades and then leave. And it's very, very uh, touching when people come and say, oh, I've managed to come again. This is the kind of stuff I love. Renee was telling me that often she'll hear people come with their kids and they'll tell them, oh, this is where my dad used to take me for donuts on the weekends and they're bringing their kids back and someday they'll bring their kids back and this has been going on for a hundred years. I just love it when you dig and find these jewels that are just everywhere. <laughs> 